Hey, what's going on internet? This is Joshua Noel from Sunda Creative, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to apply a realistic glow to anything here inside of Photoshop. All right, so we have our title right here. The first thing we wanna do is come here to the new group icon and make sure that the title is in that group. Then we'll go to Filter, Blur, and click on Gaussian Blur. It'll ask you to convert to a smart object. Go ahead and click on that. Then with the Gaussian Blur selected, we'll come here and set the pixels to 0.5. Click OK. So then we'll take our title layer with that Gaussian Blur. On PC, you'll hit Control J. On Mac, you'll hit Command J. And this will duplicate the title. And we want to create up to five different duplicates here. Then we'll go to the second copy here. We'll double click on the Gaussian Blur. And we'll change the pixels to 3. Double click on the next copy and change the pixels to 10. Moving forward, we'll click on the next one. We'll set the pixels to 50. For copy four, we'll set the pixels to 250. And for the last copy, we'll set the pixels to 1000. Then we'll come here to our adjustments icon down here at the bottom and we'll click on solid color. Make sure it's set to black and click okay. Make sure that the solid fill is set to the bottom of our group here. And then we'll click on the new layer icon here at the bottom. We'll make sure that this layer is above copy two in our stack. So there should be three titles below our new layer. And then we'll go to filter render and we'll grab clouds we'll change the blend mode to multiply and we'll bring down the opacity down to like 52 ish percent all right awesome we'll close our group so we'll come here to the adjustment icon and we'll add a gradient map so we can add color to our glow we'll come here and click on the color palette here this will bring up our gradient editor and to change the colors i want to add some stops so all you need to do is click on the color here and this will add a stop then you'll see the color icon and we can change this to maybe like a nice red color. And then we can add another color stop by clicking anywhere here. And we'll do like maybe an orange color to kind of keep that palette going. And I'll make sure it's a little bit on the brighter side. And you can just adjust these as you see fit. So as you move them over, uh, the glow will intensify. But generally, I like it kind of evened out like this. And we'll click OK. So then what we want to do is hit the gradient map and the group and set the blend mode to screen. And one thing you'll notice is that there's a lot of banding going on here. So to fix this, what we'll do is go to image mode and set it to 16 bits channel. And that will get rid of the banding if you're following along. You may still see some banding on YouTube because that's just the compression. Uh, but, and you can follow the same principles and apply it to any other title here inside of Adobe Photoshop. So even though working on design projects may be a lot of fun, it's still incredibly time consuming and sometimes challenging. To help you save time and avoid the struggles of creating good work, we have design templates here for Photoshop, which allow you to finish projects within minutes instead of hours. If you wish to start saving time now, check out our links in the description below to see all of our Photoshop templates.